Alright guys, and welcome back to more Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor Overclocked. And last time, we have prevented, well, rape. This dude was super desperate, he tried to attack people, tried to get the dude out the way and just have his fun. But you know what, we stomped him in his ass. We said, that ain't cool dude, we gonna kill you. Now follow us so you can escape. I don't know what makes us wanna let people like you get away, but you know what, it's okay. Cause fuck him. Anyway, we are back, and we literally almost died in that fight. We almost lost. If Yuzu had, um... If she never got her damn access... If she never got access to her magic again, we probably... We would have had, like, maybe a 50-50 chance of actually losing that fight. Because that Cyril died, and then Lion was coming up. But the thing is, there was no way they were actually going to do anything to Lion. So I, I really wasn't worried, because Lion was going to be able to solo that entire fight. If it, if it came down to it... Lion was gonna be there to just wreck shit, you know what I'm saying? But here we are. We are here with, we gotta get this dude out of our party for Thor. Thor is really good, his strength is really good. Everything else about Thor is really sucks. You physically hit Thor, he just takes mad damage. It's like, no matter how much vitality he has, he still takes mad damage from physicals, and then he takes mad damage from, um, excuse me, he takes mad damage from magics too. So what we're gonna do here is actually have a lion with the same crew. I think this crew still works for him. Uh, Atsuro, yeah, we're gonna keep him with the same crew. Yuzu, what I actually did, what you guys didn't see me do off camera, I actually gave her the band curse because I'm sick of her getting silenced, like, or getting under specific status elements from, like, curse attacks. So what I did, decided to do was just give her band curse it only nullifies the first curse, but that's better than just immediately getting cursed. You know what I'm saying? So I gave her that. I gave her Force Amp for Zondine. She's going to be dealing mad damage. I really don't need Ice Boost, so that really can just leave from her repertoire. I can probably give her something like... I don't know. Since she's in battle more, what I feel like I could do is actually give her Anti-Curse instead of having Keisuke with the Anti-Curse. Because he's rarely in battle. The only time he's in battle is when he's like caught up in an enemy's, um, I guess, skirmish. If the enemy contacts him, most of the time with uh, Keske, we just have him moving units around the field, and that's really good. I, I like that utility of having having Keske being able to act faster than most characters, and then being able to drag him across the map if possible. You know what I'm saying? So if we need to quickly do something, we can have Keske just move you to exactly where you need to be, basically. So that's why I like having uh, Case game my party. He's so quick. And then on top of that, he's got pretty decent magic. We got him with Agidine and Fire Imp. And what I'm going to do is probably give him something else here. Like, maybe... Let's give him something really good. Something decent. Something he would actually use. Maybe... <laughs> you know what? Let's give him Fire Boost and Fire Amp. I, I don't know if it stacks, but we're going to find out. And we also gave him Magic Yang. I'm thinking about giving him maybe Alter Pain. No, screw that. Uh, Battle Aura kind of sucks. Like, they're starting to do mad damage now, so Battle Aura is just not going to cut it. We got Fortify and we got Tailwind. Maybe I should get Tailwind so we can act first all the time. So, it, just in case he gets caught in the skirmish, he gets plus 5 agility. And it's pretty much going to guarantee him to be, be able to act before any other enemy. And then on top of that, that's going to really help with landing uh, his Holy Dance. He has Holy Dance, right? So he's actually going to be able to land more hits. He's probably going to get a guaranteed at least three hits from Holy Dance with that high agility he has. And then on top of that, Baze would actually benefit from having that. And then, of course, your boy Mothman needs to really get his Endure skill learned. I don't know why I didn't learn that yet. I should have went to a random free battle to learn that. But right now, we got our team set. Um, apparently we have another battle, and apparently, because I had looked at it, we have a fight with Nalia? Look at this. This looks nonsensical. Apparently we're going to meet Nalia and have to fight him, or at least protect him or do something. So that's what we're going to do, but before we do that, let's see if we can unlock any more skills at the Sheba Park. Dig the dick. There's no skill to crack. You cracked all the skills. Da, 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 da. All right, nothing we can get here, so we might as well just leave and go to Nagata Cho to 
Uh, let's see what the hell's going on with Nalia. What is this? It's much worse than the last time we were here. There are so many more demons, people can't come near it. <gasps> is this the contaminated area Izuna was talking about? Is that lava? Is that literally lava and magma? I see. You guys. It's Nalia. What? Nalia? Oh my god, 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 it's Nalia, Nalia, I love you, man. That man. He's the one who gave me my comp. What? He gave you a comp? He's my cousin, but he gave you a comp? Yes. There's no doubt about it. This is the man who gave me my comp. Why'd he give you a comp? He's his cousin. He gave us our comps, too. Really? Wow. That's a big surprise. So this guy is his cousin? You seem well. It looks like you have some new allies. Man, Nalia, you look like you are a drug addict. It's something of a relief to see you all safe. You look like a cult leader, too, while we're at it. Don't make fun of us. Just thanks to you, though. For real, it is, because if we didn't get those comps, we'd be dead. You seem to know your way around a comp by now. That's my cousin. Since you've made it this far, I'll tell you something interesting. Aw, oh, snap. Have you thought at all about the prerequisites for demons to appear in this world? Hmm. We actually, uh... Got some information about it, right? Didn't we learn a whole bunch of stuff about it? How you need to use the heart of desire or something? The desire of the heart to, br to bring them over? Good. Then let's compare notes. Compare these nuts, now, yeah. Humans are more than the flesh you see on the outside. Really? They're driven by the heart. Or the soul, if you want to call it that. Aria of the soul. Souls are comprised of various unique ideas, fundamental concepts of existence. When two ideas interact, they release a certain kind of energy. This energy is called thought. Thought, huh? Joy, anger, fear. It's all energy radiated by souls, adding to the flow of power. Is it used for summoning? Is fodder for demons? Don't jump to conclusions. It's difficult to understand, so settle down and listen. Hold on, man. Hold on. First of all, I'll slap the fuck out of you right now, Naya, okay? I don't care if you're my cousin. I will smack the fuck out of you. Calm down with that tone. But continue. Demons live in a different world. Think of them as beings from another dimension. They require vast amounts of energy to sustain their forms and to act in our world. Even I was at a loss. I'm sure you found a way. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. Now, as I was saying... No, I was just being an asshole. Summoning involves amplifying the summoner's thoughts and sending them to that world. The program can replicate the procedure, but it cannot possibly create energy. Tell me, how would you solve the problem? Music. Use others' thoughts? <laughs> Very good. You have a sharp mind. Shut up, Nalia. That's correct. What one can't produce, one imports. I used other people's thoughts. The strongest type of thought is negative emotion. So I turned to a certain place. An imaginary hermetic world that nevertheless creates the illusion of true interaction. Video games? You mean the internet? That's right. Sure enough, I detected a vast amount of thought energy in that virtual space. The program I wrote harnesses the flow of thought energy generated by the internet. All it needed to run was a terminal capable of handling that flow. Really? Why comps then? Don't you see? It has email and browser functions, making it perfect for the task. You can't deny that it's been a great help to you since you were trapped in this lockdown. The comps always on internet makes it an ideal environment for summoning demons. Oh my god, that's a revelation. That's why Microsoft wanted to have the always on internet just bundled with the Xbox One. We get it now. Microsoft wanted to summon demons. <laughs> so now you know. For all the good it does you. Nalia is basically Phil Spencer. You arrogant piece of... What's wrong with you? You're the whole reason we got dragged into this mess. 
Get us out! Get us out of this lockdown right now! <laughs> it seems you still haven't learned your lesson. Here's a piece of advice. Other people's powers won't do you any good. If you want to survive this lockdown, eliminate anyone who stands before you by your own power, your own will. Now, it's time for the game to begin. Despite being human, you managed to defeat a demon crowned with the name of Bell. Show me that power. I'll show you my moves, all right. Ooh, it's got those lower type enemies. I hate those guys. Now you use his demons too? No shit, Atsuro. Get off his D. What a pain. Of course he does. Damn it. Now you use the one behind the summoning program. Can we beat its creator? Of course. We're the protagonist. Every game needs its prize. Depending on the outcome, I may answer your questions. How does that sound? Are you a little more motivated now? Of course. It's a deal. <laughs> Good. Kids are so much more tolerable when they're being honest. You understand me very well. I know. <laughs> you aren't even phased. But enough talk. Let the show begin. Now, you have three chances. Three chances? Defeat at least six demons before you end your third move. What? Are you serious? Defeat six demons in under three turns. Brr, brr. Brr, brr. Demons in under six turns. Oh, it's actually six demons in under three turns. This is going to be stupid. All right. First of all, we gotta come out swinging hard. <laughs> we gotta come out swinging. I'm talking about we gotta come out just swinging hard, dude. So let's see. Let's just analyze the field here. So someone can actually just walk up one, two, smash this dude. Or what we can do is go one, two, three, four, attack, kill this guy in one turn, switch, and then have. Somebody else come up here, one, two, three, bop this guy, and then on their next turn, bop that guy. But we gotta do this in another three turns, right? So, yes. So, you know who's gonna be the best candidate to knock this guy out in one turn? Your boy, your boy, Kesuke. And then he's gonna follow up by switching with uh, Lion. And then Lion's gonna follow up by, on his turn, going towards the other guy. All right, and then I believe, let's see, one, two, three, four. We won't be able to get up there immediately. One, two, three, four. Damn, dude, this is gonna be tough. Oh my God, we need somebody with fire again. So you know what? What I might be able to do is possibly just have Somebody like walk up three. No, you know what? Yuzu is definitely gonna have to use her devil speed. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven? Is that how it works? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Attack this guy. On her next turn, she should be able to take these guys on. And then on Keske's next turn, we gotta find somebody weak against fire again. This dude would be. So Keske would actually be right here. Keske, whatever. Alright, let's see. This is gonna be hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can get up here and we can pretty much wipe out that Robus. Oh yeah, we got a ban curse, so that's the perfect opportunity for us to use that new move. Double speed all the way to hell up there. Yep, so that's where she's gonna go. The boy's right at zero. He's just gonna walk up and then switch with uh, Keisuke next turn. Alright, alright. Keisuke should be able to handle most of these. Yep, he's got Agidai and Fire Amp and Fire Boost. So you should be able to take dude out in one go. If we don't, we can just reload. All right, here we go, guys. That's the plan. Let's do it. 
Mission start! So... And so the battle begins. Don't worry. I've made adjustments to even the odds. What do you mean? If we win this battle, we'll learn what he knows about this situation. No problem. We just have to win. We gotta win. Where did this magma and lava come from, by the way? Looks like we're on the damn sun. Your boy Keisuke is about to light up. Your boy Legion. Your boy Legion is about to get lit up, you know what I'm saying? Your boy Legion is probably dead. Your boy Legion just died. <laughs> Smoked that boy in one hit. And he was the leader. Oh my goodness, that was OD. Kisuke too strong. You seem to know what you're doing. So tell me, do you think God is just? Why are you asking me these questions? Why? It's simple, really. Our relationship exemplifies it. You don't need to understand yet. But give some thought to his true nature. I want to resist God! I want to become the new God of a new world! Go, 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 go. Classic SMT villain! So we're gonna switch with your boy? Now... One. Do your best to amuse me. It's our turn to actually move up and fight this other legion and then pretty much after we do this thank you now we can just bop this dude for free look at him fire you know i'm bringing the fire i'm bringing the hot fire i got Moragi. oh yeah it's over i got blitzkrieg on deck too mm, it's a wrap i don't want to use awakening because i want to I'm gonna get to my turn as fast as possible. But you know what? If it gets to my turn as fast as possible, it means... It basically means... I'm actually making it worse for me. So I should have used Awakening. I'm not sure if... If the, requ the requirements require... Now you said at the end of three turns, but does it mean at, at the end of three turns of Lions? Or the three turns of everybody's? Uh, whatever. Muragi. <laughs> We're gonna mow down. Better yet, this power hit this guy. Ooh, yeah, we can get this win for sure. Let's go for the middle, dude. Ooh, smoked. <laughs> oh my god, Lion is just a nuke. He's a human nuke. He is chin. I don't think we're gonna make it to the top. Yeah, we are. Yeah, never mind. So we got a Mabufu. Ban curse. Screw that. Screw that nonsense. They about to start slinging. I'm actually just gonna go straight for Aerobus. So it's best to just go for the dude in the middle. Mmm, pop him. Come on, Yuzu. Nice. And we still have the ability to nullify one curse move, but it's not even going to matter here. Insufficient. Insufficient. Oh, get cracked on. I'll protect you. Oh. <laughs> she got popped. <laughs> That demon got popped. All right, so the girl has recarm, Darahan, Drain. We don't really need to put anything else on her. She's she's basically perfect. Ishtar is perfect right now. Now this dude, on the other hand, instead of Ice Dance, we can probably give him something good like Mow Down. That's something he would definitely like benefit from having, rather than that whack old Ice Dance that has a random chance of hitting. We're actually going to do nothing. We're just going to move up as far as we can. Oh no! Well, you know what? Electric Dance would probably work here, but you know what? Let's try to smoke the guy in the middle again. Agudon. 
Nice, he, he absorbed it. The one the one time Thor comes in handy in like one of these later battles, it was finally right there he came in handy. So now he can mow down twice basically. Oh my god. His electric dance is so OD. His electric dance is OD. He resisted it and took major damage still. I really don't know why you did that. You basically just made it easy for us. He really just made it easier for us. So you know, everybody go for the Loa in the middle. Screw everything else. Oh, get that, get that mighty hit in, that suit, bro. We don't care about mute. We the juggernaut. <laughs> you really think that's gonna stop? Dude, they really are trying to stop us, but it's not really happening because we're too OD. So we might need to do Mo down here because they both have, uh, it looks like they have, oh, never mind. For some reason, I thought they had, um, ability to protect themselves or protect the leader. Hunt him and endure it, but you still got wrecked. Yo, we, I think we might have did it. Was that six? This dude has evil wave. I hate evil wave on the enemy, but you know what? It prolongs their turn. They're trying to go for Yuzu, but Yuzu ain't playing that. That's gonna be really good for uh, Keisuke to switch with uh, at zero next turn. Two. Is that all you've got? Shut up, Nalia. Shut up! So I should probably prolong my turn on purpose, so I'm gonna do like crazy shit. Like awakening for no reason. And then Lion should probably try to heal himself. Heal Thor. So it's gonna take a while before they get back to my turn. is gonna switch. One, two, three, four. We can probably nuke, dude. You know what? Switch with a lion. I don't think we can still. Nah, we can't get over there. That Zero should still be able to get over there, though. Yep. I wonder if we can attack. Uh, can we attack Nalia? That'd be epic. We probably get owned. We'd probably get owned, but you know what? We ain't gonna sweat it. So we're gonna probably go for mighty hits on this guy. Anger hit. And cat chi ooh wind all day baby it's over can you say it's over it's over uh. oh turn them to stone so you know what it's really over now cat Sith can uh I'm, a, I'm gonna mow down. I'm gonna mow down and then I'm gonna Zon. Cause all I gotta do is pretty much use Zon and they're, he's done. Boom. Cracked him. Broke him apart. That should be six, right? That was six. You killed six demons in two turns. <laughs> I suppose that's a passing grade. You need to calm down now, yo. It's time for some answers. Shut up and dispose of the remaining demons. We'll talk after that. Bruh, you right there. Why don't you kill him? Asshole. You know what? I'm actually going to move him right next to the demon so he's not in uh, Yuzu's way. Evil wave, of course. How did I not see this coming? Because you failed to analyze the enemy, you dumbass. What kind of dude just walks up like that? <laughs> Obviously, I moved him up there, so on KSK's next turn, he can basically just switch with uh, Atsuro and get up there faster. But it's okay, because you know what? We're actually going to recarm your boy, Kachi, so he can get some health or get some experience for this fight. And then we're also going to... Oh, I forgot she had- I gave her Recarm too, I forgot, never mind. I should have used Recarm Den Affection. 
Whatever, we still in there. Oh yeah, we can bomb this dude. We can bomb the dude in the middle. Check this out. Zondine, I have Zon Boost. I have a uh, what is it? Wind Boost? Wind Amp? Yeah, dude's done. He's he's basically done. Dude in the middle is done. Look at that, 322. We reckon leaders in one hit. I love it. Mission complete. Mission complete. Look at that. And the cast has got to level up. The one we brought back. Do 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 dun 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 dun. All right, that was the last one. As promised, I'll now answer your questions. You better. So, what would you like to know? Everything. Why did you involve us? <laughs> you think I involved you in this? Yes. It's true. You've been involved since long, long ago. What the hell are you talking about? But it isn't my fault. It's because you were chosen. Because you were loved by God. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Just enjoy it, brother. You sound like a maniac, dude. You sound like a... You sound like the typical villain. What are you trying to do? My intentions? Yes. My intentions are to have you win the war for the throne of Bell. What? Why? It doesn't matter. Just think about this. You want to lift the lockdown, don't you? Of course. <laughs> then neither of us has anything to lose. You asshole. Listen. The King of Bell is lord over the demons. Very few ever sit upon that throne of darkness, and all demons bow to it. If you win the war for the throne of Bell, the demons in Tokyo will pose no problem. Whether you use them as your escort or massacre them all, your wishes will be granted. Now do you see the fastest way to get the lockdown lifted? Where's the server? Where is it? Where is it? And if you knew? Don't tell me you plan to use the server to delete all the demons. Maybe. We want to control them, maybe. Hmm. Huh. You're thinking of rewriting the program. <laughs> that is quite an unorthodox idea. Very interesting. Even if they're still here, as long as they're not a threat, the lockdown has no purpose. Which means the government would lift it, right? So rather than defend yourself or attack the enemy, you'll take its power for your own. A solution only you would come up with, Atsuro. Then tell us where we can find the server. Don't be dense. The server's not in our world. It isn't even a server anymore. What? Even if you did reach it, it would be impossible for you to rewrite my programming. Are we through here, then? Damn, this dude just... He has the biggest ego ever. It's impossible for you to rewrite my programming. Dude, really? You that confident? Then I'll close by giving you one more hint. It's about the demon summoning program. Huh? What is it? <laughs> I'm not the one who completed the program. Really? I, that's... Then who was it? To be more precise, it couldn't have been completed without her help. Her? Do you mean... The demon summoning program's algorithms are based on data that she supplied. Data. She is the only one who can perform the demon summoning melody. So you're talking about Aya, right? A demon summoning melody? So that story was true. Oh, so you know. I'm surprised you found out about that. It looks like some of the previous events we view seem to affect, like, future events. Like, I don't think some of this dialogue wouldn't have uh, shown up. A lot of this dialogue wouldn't have shown up if we haven't if we didn't watch those previous events up till now. Some of them at least. Where is she now? Who knows? We barely saw each other in the few days she was there during development. If you're interested in her, ask Azuma the Shomonkai. Her name was Aya. Duh! I figured this out way before this guy told us. Did you say Aya? That's... Time for me to go. I bid you good luck. Uh, now ya! Damn it! He's gone. The demon summoning melody involved in that program, and the name Aya. Aya! Yeah, I don't like the sound of this or what Naoya said. Whatever the reason, he wants him to win the war for the throne of Bell. 
Suppose you did win the throne of Bell. What would you do with it? I don't know, man. I'd take over the world. I'd control the demons. I'd control the demons to go back home. Hmm. Well, in the end, I guess it's as good as if we found the server. But this way, what'll happen to you? You're not gonna turn into a demon, are you? Bruh, do I look like Yusuke Yurameshi?